It's the top one, because you didn't kill Mog this time. Can we just move on from this? Please? Please but don't that, make me think about but it. But that's sad. why the other file is there. I'm sad about it. It's like, fine. everybody's gray because they're just depressed. But <laughs> it's just, like, <laughs> sadness. Yeah, like, like, you killed one, you killed us all. Damn you. <laughs> well. All right, I don't know what we're doing. Uh, we're walking. We're doing a lot of walking. Oh yeah, we don't have a ship anymore. <clears throat> we have to walk back to where it is. Uh, we don't have a ship, but we have a ship. Am you right? have a ship. <laughs> Am I right? It's not my ship. <laughs> so yeah, you're walking to the western side of this continent. Good luck. Where? Western where? You're here. You want to be like over there. All right. And there's a path through the mountains and around and everything, and I forget exactly how it goes. Ah! You found it before. It's Ralph. First, beat up Ralph. Um, where we actually left off in the story, and the reason we're over here is because we had peace talks with the Empire. Oh, yeah. And we, uh, we went to the Esper Gate. We let all the espers out. The espers are freaking pissed. That's right. Because they've been getting, like, kidnapped and mined for resources. And they found the Magitech Research Facility and found all their dead friends and then just burned everything. And Emperor Gestal was like, hey, hey, this sucks. Could you tell them to stop, please? And so, uh, through the power of superior force, <laughs> you've, uh... Yeah. Hmm. Warp's pretty good to have. We'll let him finish that up. Because that's, uh, that's a spell that can let you just, like, jump out of a dungeon. If you want out of it. Which is real nice. At least I think that's what it does. Remember to use something quick if you use morph, because it runs out. You have no, you have no MP. Well, no, that was a waste. She's healing, right? Is that what's happening? Yeah, I believe you have a, <clears throat> I believe you have a relic equipped that uh, gives her regen. So she is, she is constantly That's pretty self Pretty good heal, actually, passively. Yeah, it actually, and it's proportional too. Tara, uh, Tara, I leveled up. Did you see? Did I level up, Tara? Tara. Hey, Tara. This is gonna be so funny later. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I say that, but like... Wait, poison single? Yes, poison is one of the few... Um, poison is one of the few moves that cannot be multi-targeted. Bio is the multi-target version of Poison. It is very good, I recommend it. Poison's got a weird, um... Jeez. That's, uh, sometimes Locke gets critical hits where he just throws the thing. It's very kinetic. The sound, the sound design on that specific mm -hmm. is really nice. You got tense. Yeah. The animation is three frames or five, like some links. Incidentally, the uh, the Terra kneeling animation is also the is also the sprite that they use when they want to show that she's going pee. There's a there's a thing. I think you actually went past it because I think it's in the Empire during the peace talks. There is a, uh, there's a toilet. And, um... Oh, didn't I do... And you can, you can go... Child me discovered that you can go sit on the toilet. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, what I was gonna say is you usually think of poison spells as being like kind of weak damage, but they have a status effect. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. Bio is really, really strong just as straight damage in this game. Like, I remember using it a lot. It also has a sound effect I really like, but that's just me. That was pretty weak. Yeah, your your actual physical attack damage, I think, is doing significantly more. I mean, look at that. That's 1,200 just... And it's free. Hers isn't quite as much, but, like... There's, there's basically no reason to be magic attacking with Locke at this point. Like... I think you're, I think you're okay. No, no desert, thank you. Yeah, you remember. Don't worry about zombie, there's no zombies. You're not gonna have to worry about zombie. Remember that time when I told you that and then you got like zombied three times in the next hour? I do. You know who else remembers? I don't know, do you think that the characters remember the time that they were zombied? Do you think they retain their? No, I was their... gonna say Pepperidge Farm. Uh oh, <laughs> that's that's fun. <laughs> I was like, do you think you're... do you think Locke remembers being a zombie? He's messed up if he did. Just like, oh my god, I, I'm so sorry. I was I wasn't in control of my actions. Like, It's fine, you bought more Revivify, so it's all good. Remember also that both of your characters are in the back row doing front row damage because of uh, 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 weapons they have equipped. In Locke's case, because of the two weapons he has equipped. And the enemies the here... Huh? Am I going to the white dot? I believe so. I believe your ship is right next to it. Maybe over to the right? Uh. Did we go to the wrong place? Uh. Okay. Uh. One moment, we're addressing the walkthrough. I still think it's over there somewhere, but... Opposite. Okay, go into the town that's here. It's for anybody yet. Oh, 
There's a there's a couple of characters that use rods, but I'm not sure you actually have any at the moment. All right, this is Miranda. This is not where he's supposed to be. <laughs> it's okay. We're grinding. I don't think that you've gone in, like, the complete wrong direction. I think we just, like, may have gone south instead of north. So slow. You did take the sprint shoes off because you weren't going to spend much time in town. Oh, no. It might have been that one. And if that's the case, it might actually be quicker to just load the save than walk all the way back over there. That's fine. <laughs> just stop the recording. <laughs> Let's get more OP so that when we run into any boss. Hey. Levels are always good. Yeah, I was wrong. I'm sorry. Hole two? What the hell? I don't know he knew that. Yikes. Three mithril rods. It's weird that you're getting so many of them. <laughs> like, I, I believe those are weapons, but again, you currently don't have anyone that can use them. Yeah, I have four of them. <laughs> maybe, well, maybe you do. I'm trying to think of who you've got. Does anyone use a staff? Can anyone use a staff? No one comes to mind. Again, you've got some characters you haven't run into yet, but... Eh, it's alright, I guess. Ice is pretty good. See, welcome to the, uh, welcome to, like, how I've gotten over-leveled in every game I've ever played. Ugh. One more. Literally one more. Which is just getting lost. Getting lost and having random battles be a thing. See, this is why, this is why having good overworld music is, is important. Mm-hmm. Burn bugs with fire. Flap. That's a that's always a... pissed off now. It's super effective. So actually, with anything that looks like it's flying, um. All right. So what? He's got he's got carbuckle now. So much this one. I mean, take your pick. There's tons of stuff for him to learn. strongly recommend that you give everyone Osmos just because that is that's free MP forever. I just in fact he didn't actually know. In fact, I think Terra knows it now. See if you can use it. Because you're down like 20 MP. I just Oh, well, never mind. This is eventually going to be a thing where um, there are so many characters. Or else use tackle. It's moderately effective as tackle ever is. Here, 
I learned a spell. I would actually switch her at this point, because I think the other... Anything that's times one, unless it's something you really, really, really want, not usually worth just... Plus, you can literally just put on Carbuncle and double the speed that you learn it. As a general rule, uh, black and white spells tend to be more useful than gray spells, but there are a couple of gray spells that are really good. And, like, haste is good, reflect is good in certain situations. So would you do show or would you do Carbuncle? If it were me, and this is just me, um, I like Shout a lot because Bio is really strong. Break and Doom are not particularly useful because they're basically just different types of instant death spells. Wait. And you know how instant death spells are. Like, they are inconsistent at best. But, I was talking about Bio earlier, and Bio is a... Bio is a move that deals poison damage and then does poison status effect. But you don't usually see the status effect because the spell itself is so damn strong, everything just dies. Mm -hmm. That's gonna hurt. The good thing about Cyclonic is it's never going to kill you. The bad news is it instantly puts you in critical health. No, you're good. I'm pretty sure there's a path through those mountains. I could be wrong. I mean, we literally started the we literally started the stream out with me telling you to go the wrong way. Go to the other side of the continent. One thing I was gonna tell you, um, you don't have any wind-based spells right now, or air-based spells. Um, but when you do, any enemy that looks like it's flying, like these, or anything that's just like floating in the air, um, flying enemies take double damage to wind-based attacks. Uh. Or, I don't know if it's actually double damage. It's increased damage. The same is true of you. If you have, uh, if you have characters that have the float status effect, it's, it's like Pokemon. You are immune from ground-based attacks. So anything like an earthquake or magnitude or anything like that, no problem. That'll just miss. But anything that is... Okay. I feel like this is where I started. Basically, yeah. <laughs> anything that is um, air or wind-based will do, like, significantly more damage while you're floating. Which makes sense, because, like, you're not grounded, so you can't brace yourself, so you kind of just tumble around. But that's... Again, you don't know any air or wind spells right now. I level both of them up. See, this wasn't for nothing. Right. Oh. Yeah, you want that white dot, so you're right up close to it. Albrook! Whew. Economy! The economy's gonna be all right. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. Better to have them and not use them than need them and not have them. I see you. You've learned well. There really are like a ton of, like, you're very, very frequently rewarded for that behavior in this game. You know? Aaron's Mesper's flew out of the mountains near the base and thrashed the troopers there. 
I mean, maybe they deserved it. He didn't say they didn't. Who's tight wads? I was gonna say, who are we talking about? Oh, you're intruding on a conversation that's already happening. You're not supposed to know. Okay. Hello. As the soldiers are leaving, business is bound to pick up. Ooh, they're still here, though. Shut up, shut up! Don't let them know that I said that. This is... This theme reminds me of the town theme when you go in Bionic Commando when you go to the occupied town. That's a weird pull, but I don't disagree with you. It's got the same... That it's... clock totally had an elixir. You just already got it. Yeah. Probably. Hey, bud. Uh, come on. But, like... But it totally has occupied town feel to it, right? Yep. Strange guy's trying to sell glowing stones. When I wouldn't take one, he said he was going to Zen. I'm gonna look up where it's Zen is. Cause, um, I'm just saying, can you think of something? No. Can, yeah, this, this is several towns ago, so. This still has the same stuff that you got before you went to Vector. Where am I going in here? I believe you want to go down to the port. So, um, given what you know of this game, can you think of anything that might correspond to strange glowing stones? Back it no. up. Did it, did... You got any thoughts on that? What? On what strange glowing stones might be? Would you like to share? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. So basically whatever the, the spirit, the aspers. Match site. Match, match site, yeah. There you are. Another, uh, another of the Empire's generals and a person I hired in town will be traveling with us. Okay. Hint, you know both of those people. Hey, baby. It's Shadow. Welcome back, buddy. He's got terrible equipment right now. <laughs> Does he have any? We didn't take it off of him, remember he bailed? Oh yeah. He still got your black belt. Yeah. So that's cool. Is something wrong? Yeah. No. Look at this tension. Our departure is okay. due to tomorrow. I've arranged some lodging. So So let me just set the scene here. The last thing that, the last interaction that these two had was Locke accusing her of being a traitor because Kefka said so and then her giving like sacrificing herself somehow to like warp them all out of there. I don't know what she actually did. They all just kind of yeeted off screen and then there was some glowing. But, you know, she did a big magic. Unless ellipses. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, she looked away. Oh! I go... I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's important to set that scene, because, like... Hello. I'm working for the Empire, but don't worry, I'm not gonna garrote you. Had to bork, had to bork. You can pet the dog in Final Fantasy VI. Important. We'll go to the inn then. Go get some rest. Uh, to garrote is to kill someone by strangulation, typically with an iron collar or length of wire or cord. Yikes! So he's not going to do that. Well, thank goodness. <laughs> it's like... It's, it's one of those things where it's like... 
Th uh, thanks. Would... Where's the Anna? Is that something I should have been concerned about? It might be on the other side of town, but... It's fine, just keep... Keep walking around, you'll find it. Sorry, I don't have the shoes on. Like, it is really a different experience playing this with and without the sprint shoes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There you go. Go fast. Very excited about sleep. Oh, where's Celeste? Worried about it. Indeed. Where indeed? No musics. You should recognize this theme. I'm an asshole. That's all you have to say. I'm an ass. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, like you don't know why. I guess I could take Locke's voice. We've not really been consistent. Even if it was only a little, it was only a little bit for a second, but I doubted you. But I'm still your best friend. Please don't be mad at me. <laughs> Celeste. Baka. <laughs> oh, look at that slump. Go after you, you moron. Don't you watch Korean dramas? You gotta grab a wrist. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not doing it like that. You kind of don't do that to a trained general. Uh -oh. I mean, it'd be pretty cool if she like flipped you on the ground though. That's true. That'd be hot. <laughs> I told you to leave me alone, you piece of shit. <laughs> like, I expect like a two second swing from like grab wrist to like on ground with sword at throat. It's just like, it's like the archer clip. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's, it's the archer, it's the archer clip. Like, stop, stop. I can only get so erect. <laughs> So anyway, the airship is uh, <laughs> boat movement. Boop, 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 boop. It looks like it's wiggling. Yep. We boating though. Boat, 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 <laughs> boat, 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 boat. Yeah, the airship's busted. So we got this is this is what we're stuck with. Are we gonna have alligators? <laughs> All systems a okay. That means we're going to sink. That means. Right. We should arrive tomorrow morning. Why not rest until then? Okay. I keep looking at the Magitek armor and thinking about 13 Sentinels. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and now it's... Hello. Safe clear the engine room. It's dangerous. Bob and I. Hello. No, but it's dangerous, though. Well, I mean, that I have to go mess it up then. I get in there. Oh. So I, you heard, stay clear of the engine room. It's dangerous. And your what you heard was, we need you to go blow up the engine room. How do I get there? You don't. It's dangerous. You all right? Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. Get acquainted with General Leo. Looks like you're feeling better. Funny, isn't it? I used to, I was used by the Empire, even had my thoughts ripped from me. But here I am, cooperating with the enemy. People are people. Not all of us are like Kefka. Kefka is not a people. <laughs> I mean, he technically is. What? What's with you? I knew you were being used as a kind of biological weapon. 
Wow. And because I didn't do anything about it, I'm no different than Kefka. I am the product of a human product. He's the product of a human I, and again, a Will I ever be able to love someone? Again, Ted Woolsey is dealing with some very strict restrictions here. You can't talk about death or killing or sex. Yeah, you of can, course. Yeah, you, can, you can like somebody. Moshiron. I haven't felt that way yet. Oh, snap. She Sorry, Locke. She's, she just met these people like two weeks ago. Sorry, Locke. She doesn't like you like that. You're just young. But I understand what you mean. I understand only too well. Well, well, well. <laughs> General Leo reflects on his past. And then he's, and he's gone. <laughs> Time to go to the engine room. <laughs> but I wanna know what love is. <laughs> Can't you just show me? Now, I want it now. <laughs> I wanna know what love is. In her defense, we are. her parents were very horny. Who is it? So like, it's apple the engine tree. Room. Come see me. <laughs> it's the last person you expected it to be. Thought I'd sleep out under the stars. Did you hear what we were just talking about? I didn't mean to overhear anything. I should do like I should do him like the solid um, snake voice. I didn't mean to overhear anything. <laughs> right. Um, I never asked for this. That's not Snake, but <laughs> that's Deus Ex, but still. I can't help you. You must look within for answers. Oh, come on, man. Tara. Yo. <laughs> In this world are many like me who've killed their emotions. Don't forget that. He murked his own emotions. <laughs> I mean, that was about the only thing left, right? Uh, right? Someone told him he could become a true ninja if he just killed his... Uh, oh, oh, somebody sees it. Uh, what? What? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna... He did it. Face plant. Yep. I'm gonna see that. go. Not a word of this to anyone else, oh shrouded one. What? What? This is the sound of throwing up. Boat, 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 boat. Remember that time that I didn't know where to go, so I told you to just fly out to the very eastern town on the map? Mm -hmm. We're going there now. I was right. I was just early. Once we find an Esper, we'll be able to restore peace. Just one, huh? We're almost to Crescent Island. Rumor has it the power of magic still exists on Crescent Island. That's weird, because it seemed like the Empire would have, like, you know... I feel like they would have maybe tried to look into that earlier okay. since harnessing the power of magic is kind of their whole thing. Maybe that's easier than going to the Esper world. Just going to an island in this world. But it's none of my business. Anyway, we're almost to Crescent Island. When we disembark, we'll split into two groups. Celeste and I, the non-playable characters, will form one group. Here you go with Locke and Shadow. Great. You spot the Esper's report at once. Let's go. Shadow. Woof. Mm. 
The Ew, coldest shit. of shoulders. Ugh. This is very K-drama. He's like, I wanted to apologize to you, but you didn't give me a chance. So now, no. No, don't try. I don't care anymore. Be gone with you. Mm-hmm. You're here now. Okay, you should well, probably save. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And maybe check your buddy's equipment. That's not what you want. No. That's better. <sighs> oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Shadow is going to have zero magic. So you can give him literally whatever you want. Don't think, don't, don't overthink it too much. Eventually, everyone will have basically everything. Would he be in the back row? Why uh, is he hurt? I don't think he's hurt. I think you gave him equipment that raises his HP. I think he gave, I think he came to you uh, uh, full healed. And I think you gave him the green beret and that raises his max HP. But his current HP didn't go up with his right magic. With his, yeah, I believe you're up and uh, just follow the path. You've actually been to this town before, but it was before you needed to be. Uh-oh. It's the Hound of the Baskervores! We're all back to the walkthrough and make sure we're not missing anything because really don't want to waste more of your time. Aqua and ice. That's a start. Yeah, so you've been to this town before. Um, this is the town where no one would talk to you. Oh, yeah. And everyone was like, you strangers. And then you walked into the inn and he was like, all right, you can stay for like a million dollars. And you were like, screw that. Is this oh, yeah. oh, wow, strangers. <laughs>